Christ is risen. Happy Easter from uh, St Luke's Holmes Chapel or really this is the vicarage garden and I'm the vicar Rob McLaren. Easter day seems so wrong this year not being together in church in a big crowd singing the Easter hymns uh, full blast praising the risen Lord celebrating Jesus's resurrection seems very strange shut up in our room or if we're lucky uh, as far as the garden but wait a minute shut up in a room only getting out as far as a garden these were the two scenes on the first Easter day first the garden at St Luke's Church in the center of the village of Holmes Chapel our old graveyard is like a garden with nice flowers and trees and and a garden, a gardener who looks after it for us. In John's Gospel, we're told Jesus' body was laid in Joseph of Arimathea's tomb, in a nice graveyard, well looked after. And Mary Magdalene was the first to discover that the tomb was empty on that Sunday morning. She'd gone to embalm the body, but it wasn't there. As it says in John chapter 20, verse 1, Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. A while later, Mary was still there, crying, full of questions, wondering where they had taken Jesus' body. Mary turned around and saw the shape of a man standing and he asked her, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? She thought he was the gardener and said, if you've carried him away, tell me where you've put him and I will get him. And Jesus said to her, for it was the risen Jesus. Jesus said, Mary. And she turned right round and cried out in her mother tongue, Rabboni means teacher, it's what she called him. Jesus had risen from the dead and Mary could have a living friendship with him still. That's the Easter good news, Jesus is risen from the dead and we can have a living friendship with Jesus, you and I. So first the garden and then the room, which was the second scene on that first Easter day. The room in Jerusalem where the disciples had locked themselves in. They were fearful. We pick it up in verse 19. On the evening of that first day of the week when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he'd said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. The room in Jerusalem where the disciples had locked themselves in was the place where Jesus showed them himself to them, risen from the dead. And the disciples were astonished and overjoyed. Their fear started to be transformed. Because Jesus had risen from the dead, they realized that they need not fear anything. Even death need not be feared because Jesus has conquered death. The good news of Easter is as important as ever this Easter. Many of us are fearful, many are afraid of death, but fear not, Jesus has conquered death. And the Bible says his resurrection is, is the first fruits, just the start. I moved into this house and garden just five months ago, and at this time of year I'm looking around at the trees just coming into flower and wondering are there any fruit trees? And in a few weeks, 
maybe on a fruit tree the, the first apple will appear and we'll know it's an apple tree and more apples will follow on. The first fruits means more of the same will follow on. Jesus is raised from the dead and we can know him. He is the first fruits of the resurrection and those who follow Jesus will receive resurrection life as well. With Jesus, we need not fear, fear death or anything. Do have a look at that reading yourself, maybe later. It's John chapter 20. But now we're going to have uh, two or three short prayers. If you'd like to join in, you're very welcome. Let's pray. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of the enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray to God, who alone makes us dwell in safety, for all who are affected by coronavirus, through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. Lord, hear us. For those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policies, that they may make wise decisions. Lord, hear us. For doctors, nurses, medical researchers and others, that through their skill and insights many will be restored to health. Lord, hear us. For the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and peace. Lord, hear us. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joy of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. That's the end of our prayers, but uh, we'll just finish our little recording with the results of the Holy Week and Easter hymns quiz, uh, which uh, maybe uh, you saw earlier in the week and have done. Here are the answers to the 15 hymn tunes. The first for a point was All Glory, Lord and Honour, the famous Palm Sunday hymn. The second, the one that Genesis uh, will know well, is We Have a King Who Rides a Donkey. The third is My Song is Love Unknown. The fourth, There is a Green Hill, Far Away. The fifth, O Sacred Head Surrounded. The sixth, when I survey the wondrous cross. Number seven was the old rugged cross. Number eight, uh, one we've sung a bit this year. Who, O oh Lord, could save themselves? Number nine, from heaven you came, the servant king. Number ten, Jesus, remember me. Number eleven, the day of resurrection. Number twelve, Thine be the glory. Number 13, Jesus Christ is risen today. Actually, there are three right answers to this one. You could also have hail the day that sees him rise, or you might have Christ the Lord is risen today. Uh, for each one of those answers, uh, you would have got your point. Number 14 was in Christ alone. And the last one, number 15, was ride on, ride on in majesty. Some of you may have put for that last one on Jordan's bank, the Baptist cry, but uh, you don't get a point, I'm afraid. That's an Advent hymn, and this was an Easter and Holy Week hymns quiz. 
So hopefully you can work out what you got out of 15. I'm afraid no prizes this time. But uh, thank you very much for playing and I hope that it will inspire you to sing as well. And I wish you again a very happy Easter.